So depending on when you're watching this video, the numbers may have changed even more dramatically since this, but as of April 2020, Microsoft stated that there are over 75 million daily active users of Microsoft Teams, which is pretty staggering. Obviously, COVID-19 had pretty much everything to do with that and that increase in, in numbers of users. So it stands to reason that if you as your organization are using Microsoft Teams, you might want to add Microsoft Bookings to Teams. So this way, things can be accessed directly within Teams when you're managing your day or, or your employees are managing their day, working on other things and then able to quickly access information about Microsoft Bookings. So it's a nice little integration. So let's go ahead and have a look and see how we can set it up. So logged into Teams, if I go down to the bottom left, I can click on Apps. And from here, I can go ahead and I can just search for bookings. And we can see there, there is the bookings app. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Um, we can see a little bit of information about it. So we can look at the details. It is enabling professionals and administrators to schedule bookings with Microsoft Teams meetings and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add. and it's going to add bookings to Teams. So I'm going to go ahead and just click get started. And we've got the option to add a new booking calendar from here, or we can just find our existing booking calendar. I'm going to view all of the ones in my organization. And there is the one that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and then click done. So that's it. It's now in Teams. It's loading up the calendar. Um, now, what you might want to do before you forget is we can go over to where bookings is on the right hand side and I can right click and I can pin it, meaning that it will stay there. Um, I won't have to go looking for it in the ellipsis each time. And what I can also do is I can drag it up and maybe I'm going to put it there. OK. All right. So now we've got it in there. Um, we can see the people that are actually on the calendar for that specific um, bookings calendar. So let me go to the 11th so we can see there we've got um, a booking on for that day for, for me, so for Megan B. Walker, and then we've got other consultants as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and if I click on new booking, what we'll see is we've got the ability to go ahead and actually add in a, a consultation or one of basically one of the services that we've got set up for that calendar. And I can go ahead and I can put in, oh, let's go back. So we'll do Tom Jones, we can type. And we'll put in a phone number. And then we can go ahead and we can select the date and we can say, okay, well, it's gonna be on this date and we want it to be for this time. Then I get the ability to pick the member of staff. So let's go with David. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and pick the 11th. So we'll go with David. And because we've set up for that specific service that it would be a Teams meeting, we can see there and that's locked. And then I could put in an internal note if I wanted to as well. So I've gone ahead and I've set that all up. I'm going to go ahead and send it. And then that person will go ahead and they'll be sent the confirmation email and anything else that we've got set up. So we can see we can do our bookings from directly within the app in Microsoft Teams. Now, what we can also do is we can click over here on the ellipsis and I can click on settings. And from here, I could change a few things about the business details so I can change the business or department name. Um, I can't actually change the business type from here. I can say uh, what attendee responses I want um, the email address to be sent to and then also modify the business phone number. Appointment types, I could add in a new appointment type. However, there's it's very limited in terms of what I can actually put in. So you'd still need to be going back into bookings itself to go ahead and add everything else and change all of the settings, that kind of thing. So I would suggest probably don't put in your new appointment types from here, but you can, you, I mean, you have the ability. It's just very limited in terms of what you can actually do. Um, we can also see that we have the ability to add in new staff or remove staff or change the level of access for their role. What I can also do is I can get to that same place from here if I just go ahead and click on add staff. It takes me to the same area. 
um, I could go ahead and I could um, look for other people. So I can find there's Lisa King. I can go ahead and add her. And once I've added her, I can then say, okay, well, what should she be, an admin or a viewer? Now, guest is not available because she's actually within my organization. Um, so I'm going to say she's just a viewer. And what I could also do is I could actually add in an email address that is not within that specific domain and I can go ahead and add them. And because they are not, then they are a guest and they're only a guest. So meaning I can't make them a viewer or an admin. They're just a guest because they're not within my specific organization. It hasn't been an email address that's been found. So now when I close that, we can see that those two new consultants that we added, we can see them there, Lisa King and then Megan Walker from, from that other email address. So it is certainly something that is um, worth looking at adding if you are a user of Microsoft Teams. Um, so it's a, a really nice little integration. So again, you don't have to go back and forth. You can put in bookings, you can manage bookings, you can add staff from here. Um, so if you're using Microsoft Teams, then go ahead and check that out. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.